I got five more tips and tricks for Mac power users. All right, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five more tips and tricks for what I classify as Mac power users, but realistically, it's for anybody. Um, and they're just little tips and tricks, and you may know some of these, and hopefully you don't know all five of them, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna go through one, two, three, four, five. And again, I like to do these kind of things in small chunks so you can memorize them. You don't forget 30 or 40. If I give them to you, you're gonna forget all of them. Um, at the same time, these are things I think that are useful for people that, that a normal user might use these. They're not gonna be like, you know, modifying this or modifying that. That's gonna only be for these super, super, super advanced user. These are gonna be things that can help you in daily use. Um, let me know in the comments too if you can, if these definitely helped you out or not, and I'll continue to make them. Also subscribe to my channel if you can. I make things on Mac mostly, uh, Mac, Apple stuff. But I do do like some PCs, some Chromebooks, all different types of uh, electronics and everything else, gadgets I'm gonna get into. I have another gadget video coming out soon. Been making them for a while. Also, you know, any ideas you guys have, post them in the comments. I love doing things based on our users' ideas and subscribers and stuff, so hopefully it helps everyone out. Without further ado, again, like I always say, let's just get into them one through five. I know that's the content people want. They wanna see what I'm actually gonna talk about. Let's go. All right, the first one's more of a Safari tip, and it's really easy, but it does help me out in some cases. Let's just say you're in Safari and you wanna know a little bit more about ducks for some unknown reason. So go ahead and pull this up. The one command you wanna learn is just Command F, and then watch over here in this corner over here. So Command F, it brings up a little search bar here. So you can go ahead and search for duck. The cool thing is it kind of makes the screen black and then it highlights all the duck, you know, wherever it says duck, which is if you want to search for a term. Obviously, this is going to say duck everywhere. So if you search for a word that's less common, obviously, like right down here, you can see that it highlighted strains. So it's very common. Uh, you can do this in a couple different ways, but this is just command F. It brings up that bar. Boom, search for what you want. Very easy. All right, tip number two is probably the most useful. And let's just say you're going into, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Let's just say we're gonna open up pages. And everyone, you know, obviously, if you, if you type a document or something, you gotta open that up. So let's just assume you're creating a document. All right, and you created this document. You wanna go up to File, and then you wanna to go to Save. And we're gonna go ahead and save this, all right? So let's just save it as Test. And then we're going to go ahead and click save. So we saved this file. Now, you know, one thing that's missing from the Mac, and it's been missing a lot, well, from Apple, you know, Mac OS, which is kind of disappointing, is if you go back up to file and you want to save this again, you can save it, but you can't do save as. They got rid of save as for some reason. That's like my favorite thing. You can duplicate it, and if you duplicate it, then you can save the new file, but then the old file is still sitting on your desktop. So if you want to get save as back, there's a way to do it. And this is the tip. So all you have to do basically is go back over here. So click on pages. Now hold down the option key and then click on file under pages. If you do that, look at save as actually pops back up. See it there? So it comes back. Hold down the option key, click file, and then there's save as. Now I can go ahead and save this as anything I want. And it's going to keep just the one file up here. It's not going to have to duplicate it or anything like that. So that's a really important tip for a lot of people. I use it all the time. All right, tip number three. Again, this is very simple, but it's useful. So let's just say you're looking through your, you know, your, your finder and you're seeing different files. You'll notice every once in a while you're gonna find a file like this that doesn't have an extension, so it shows no extension. A lot of your files will show extensions on them, like .mp4, but there's a lot of files you know, that you, when you go through all your files, trust me, they're gonna have no extension for some reason. You can't really tell why it's like that or what happened to make it like that, but there's certain reasons why you save files like that and sometimes you don't. So all you have to do though, the one tip I have for this is all you have to really do here is you just make sure you go up, you know, click on your desktop, go up to Finder, and then go to Preferences right there. And then there's an Advanced bubble. See it there? Click on Advanced. Make sure you're on that. And then right over here, it says Show All File Name Extensions right there, just like that. And then you can click it. And look at over here now. See? It just added the MP4 there because that's an MP4 file. So it just happened out of the blue. It just changed it for me. So now I know all my files are going to have extensions. It really does help you because I use extensions quite a bit. So that's tip Number three. All right, so we're in pages now for tip number four, and it can be any application that you're in. So this doesn't have to be pages or any application, browser, whatever. You have all these different drop downs for each application, and there's tons of different things you can do in here, but you just don't know where they are because you don't use it that often. So one tip I say is let's just say I want to put a page number on here. I don't know where it is. I can search for it under all these drop downs, or I can just go to help really quickly. And I can just type in page number like this. And as soon as I do that and I mouse right over this, look at that. As soon as I mouse over it, it shows me to the left hand side where it is in the drop down. See it there, page number? It shows me it's under the insert. 
and then basically the page number. So, but then I can just click on this anyway and it'll actually create, you know, it'll do the page number, although it did it right here. <laughs> I want it at the bottom. You get the idea though. So another, I mean, let's just test it one more time. So, you know, we, we, we don't know where, let's just figure something is in here that we don't, we don't know where it is. So format, um, add link, let's just do add link. So if we do that, we'll go up to help. We can go here, we can go add link. And then again, mouse over it, it shows me where it is. I can either, then it shows me all the sub, you know, sub things behind that you can click on right here. Or if you want, you can go right over here and learn how to get it this way. So anyways, it's just a good tip. If you don't know the menu system, just type it in there. It shows exactly where it is for later uh, so that you know where everything is. All right, tip number five is more of a universal tip and it's something just to help you learn because you have to learn what, you know, what this actually does for you. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. If I, my doc is hidden, it doesn't matter if yours is hidden or not, but basically, you know, on here, if I click on Finder, it's gonna open up my Finder window, then you can click on Applications, Desktop, Documents, whatever you want, you guys are all used to that. But if you go down here and you just actually right click on Finder, it always will bring up different options for you. So you can go right into Documents, for example, instead of double clicking on that, it'll open up Documents for you instantly. So that right click inside of your doc here does a lot of different things with a lot of different things in here. Um, for instance, if I right click on Launchpad, look at that, it's gonna basically bring up all my applications for me, see that? So again, if I click on Launchpad this way, it's gonna bring open this type of format. But if I just actually go down here and right click on Launchpad, it, I can go right to any app, probably a lot quicker. Um, but it's gonna be different for each thing. You know, For instance, iMovie, if I right click on that instead of opening it up, it, it, I have multiple movie libraries. They're called the same and they're on different disks. But it, you know, if they were different, you would see it here uh, if I named them differently. But long story short, you can pull up different you know, movie li I, I movie libraries if you have different movies you want to load and it doesn't, you don't have to do it from the application. Um, you know, and, and again, if you have applications like numbers or pages and you right click on it down in the doc, it's just gonna show you your last, you know, your last documents you have down there. So you can open up a document directly without having to open up the application and then going to recent documents. It doesn't sound mind-boggling, but it can help you save a couple seconds here and there. Um, finally, like in applications. So let's just say you're down here in your applications icon in, in the dock, and you click on it, you know, you'll see how it lists things like this. Well, how did I get it to show all my applications like this? Well, you all have to do, again, use the right button. So go down here, right-click on this. You'll see that it, you can list it as a list, grid, fan. So I can go to list here, and then now if I go and just regular click on this, here's my list. But I actually don't want that. So I'm gonna go back over here, right click on this, and I'm gonna click on grid, because I like this a little bit better. So now if I click on applications, it shows them all that way. So as you can see, anytime you right click on anything down here, voice memos, it's gonna give you different options than you normally would have. And once you get to learn those things, some of them are very, very helpful. Um, and some of them don't have a lot of stuff like I'm showing you. So just learn to right click and learn what's under there and you'll find quick fixes to a lot of things just to save you a couple seconds. All right, what did you think? Again, let me know in the comments if you knew about these or you didn't. I'm just trying to I'm kind of curious to see how many people knew about these, how many people didn't know about them. When a lot of people use a Mac computer, they buy it, they kind of have their routines down and they actually just go ahead and you know, do what they want to do. But they forget about these little things that are built into them, you know, into the Mac OS that actually helps people get things done faster, quicker, and in some cases, you know, even better because you can do it a certain way. You know, for example, the save as was gone, now you can get back to it. Those are some tips and tricks that can maybe really help people. But let me know. I want to, you know, continue to make these in little chunks so you can memorize them. Let me know if this helps at all. Subscribe to my channel if you can. And as you guys know, uh, you know, I make a couple of videos a week on all different topics. Talk to you soon. Peace.